Hi folks, this is Sefik. Today we are going to build a celebrity look-alike cam similar application with deep face in Python programming language. But before we begin, please like the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Please make comments for this video. Thank you for your all support in advance. We recently mentioned parental lookalike facial recognition and decide a child is looking more like to whom? His, her, mommy or daddy. And today we are going to apply a similar task and find the celebrity looking alike to you. Luckily, the both problems are based on finding the most similar one. So it's not common with false classifications, neither false positive nor false negative. Because we are going to just make predictions and we will not evaluate the result on a labeled dataset. This is not a common pattern for machine learning and deep learning applications. That's why here we have a much easier task. We should create our celebrity dataset first to search the most similar celebrity to you. I stored the images of characters in the Big Bang Theory series in this folder. The reason why I selected this series, some of my friends do tell me that I'm looking alike to Sheldon Cooper character in that series. Even if I disagree to this statement, I want to ask this to AI. And there are 12 character images and we are going to search the most similar one to me in the space. Firstly, let's read those images in my notebook. That's why I'm going to import operating system model of Python first. Thereafter, call that wall function. Name of my target directory is Big Bang Theory and operating system dot work function. This is going to return director pet, director names and file names. And file names is going to be a list. So I need to build another loop for file name and file names. And let's print file name here. These are the items in my folder and as you can see, uh, this item is not an image. That's why I'm going to check is there that JPEG character is available in the file name. And these are the character images. I'm going to also append the directory path. And these are the exact image paths of our character images. Instead of printing the exact image paths, I'm going to store those character names in a list. Characters is going to be a empty list first. And here I'm going to append the exact image paths. Thereafter, I'm going to print characters. Now I'm going to compare each character to my own picture and I stored my pictures in the root directory. Thereafter, I'm going to find the similarity between my photo and each of these photos. To implement the task, I'm going to build a for loop here for character and characters. And here I'm going to compare that character's photo with my picture. That's why I'm going to import the face library with from the face and import the face. And in this iteration, I'm going to call the face dot verify function. And this function expects image one path and also image two path. Image one path is going to be the character and image two path is going to be my picture. For example, specific dash one dot jpeg. These are the mandatory arguments for the verify function, but also we can pass model name variable. But the default value is VGG face, but in this experiment, I want to use facenet model thereafter. As you can see, detector backend at default value is OpenCV, but in this experiment, I want to use more robust one, MTCNN. 
and I'm going to store the result of this verification function in the object variable and let's see the content of object first after this I'm going to terminate the for loop because I just want to see the result of the object the last thing verification function optionally accepts distance metric and at the default value is cosine but in this experiment I'm going to use Euclidean distance you can play with those arguments and they are all explained in the documentation of the face for example model name we are going to use face net but alternatively you can use VGG face or arc face in your experiment distance metric we are going to use Euclidean distance but you can use Euclidean L2 form and finally detector backend we set empty Sienna but in your test in your experiment you can use retina face let's see the result for Sheldon and my picture pair verification function returns false value in the verified case this means this face pair is different persons because I fit my picture and Sheldon picture and the distance value between my picture and Sheldon's picture is 13 whereas the threshold was 10 in other words if the distance value is less than the this fine-tuned threshold value verified k is going to be true and this means this face pair will be same person in this response set I'm just interested in the distance value and I'm going to discard verified and threshold case here I'm going to create a similarities dictionary and here similarities for this character is going to be distance value of the object variable we can import the takadum library from takadum import takadum because I want to see the progress bar for this for loop I'm going to call takadum and pass the characters list here and as you can see we have the progress bar and see the estimation time for the completion of that for loop similarities dictionary is ready let's print its content the distance between my feature and Sheldon's feature is 13 let's store those values in a pandas data frame I'm going to import pandas data frame is going to be pandas data frame and here I'm going to pass similarities as input but I'm going to get its items and also I'm going to set the column names for the data frame character and distance let's see the data frame this has much pretty looking that's why I'm deleting this line and I'm just going to focus on this data frame the last thing this data frame is not sorted that's why before printing the data frame I'm going to sort it data frame dot sort values and by argument is going to be distance now this data frame is sorted and it shows the most similar one in the first row which is Sheldon let's print this one data frame get at zero index value this returns the both character name and distance I am just interested in the character name that's Sheldon actually image name I got the image name now let's read that image with OpenCV and I'm 
going to need matplotlib to plot that image. matplotlib.pyplot as plt. OpenCV.imrate image name and it's going to be my image. Here I can plot that image plt dot show and pass that image and this picture but it shows it in blue because OpenCV reads an image in the inverse direction of the red green blue I can handle this like that also I don't want to see the access and finally we should call plt.show to get rid of this line this is my picture and alternatively I can plot that wet detected face area to do it deep face dot detect face and I'm going to pass image name as input and as you can remember uh, this image pet we are able to use different detector backends and MTCNN as more robust one uh, I'm going to use these lines to plot the image much better but deep face detect face function it's an image in the red green blue order that's why I don't need this and this is the most similar identity in that character list let's plot my picture next to it I'm going to move this plotting task to the next row and before that I'm going to create a figure and set figure size first and set it 10 to 10 thereafter I'm going to create subplots plt dot at subplot and I'm going to have one line and two columns and now I'm going to print the first item sorry this should be figure instead of plt uh, here I'm going to create a second image and here I'm going to plot my own image let's print my image here it was cfic dash one dot jpeg. I'm going to uh, copy this here and let's read it similar to this function. It's going to be target image name and let's call plt.imshow and press target image and disable its access also uh, it just prints my image because I use some I add subplot argument this should be second item and it prints uh, my picture next to the most similar one and I can actually print the uh, distance score get its first row and get the distance value which is 13 let's run this experiment with different image for myself and we're starting the kernel and I'm going to use the, another image I'm going to run all cells and again in this set uh, it finds Sheldon's picture most similar to me most close to me closest to me and let's run this experiment with another image now I'm going to use cfic-3 and run all and again uh, it finds 
Sheldon's picture closest to me for that input image. And as I remember, this has the lowest distance value. In other words, input image is most close to this one. And you can see the distance values for other pairs here. So in this video, we have mentioned how to run celebrity look alike prediction with deep face in Python programming language. Even though we are using verification function in deep face, we are not using deep face for facial recognition task. We just get its distance value and find the lowest distance value in the set. In that way, we can find the celebrity look alike to me. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.